Okay, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to take the textures that we created in Substance Painter and apply them to the cube we created in Maya. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is select your object. We're going to right click, and this little drop down menu should appear. We're going to go ahead and say, scroll all the way down to the bottom and Select Assign New Material. Now when this pops up, we're going to go ahead and uh, use Arnold Shader. And we're going to go ahead and select Arnold Standard Surface. Okay? So that would be this one right here. Okay, as we do that, you notice that uh, our Attribute Editor automatically popped open. Uh, this is pretty much giving you... Um, reference that the material has been applied if you go here you can see that's the that's the object we applied it to and here's your AI standard surface one so we want to go ahead and rename this we're going to go ahead and call this what it is so we're going to call this M A at M A T I'm sorry so mat for, for material underscore and we're going to call this crate Crate underscore V01. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the name of my cube to the same as the one in the texture. So I'm going to go ahead and just call this crate underscore V01. There we go. Okay. Now, the next thing you want to do is go, go here where it says base. This is where you're going to apply your base texture, your base color. Okay, so you're going to go here where it says color. Select the little checker icon, label color. It's going to open up this little, this little window. Here you're going to select a file. You're going to go into your fold, into this little folder popped up, and it should automatically take you to your source images. Here's the crate textures that we created in Substance Painter. Go ahead and open that up. And remember this is your base color. Okay, so you have your base color, your height, metal, normal, and roughness. We want the base. Select your base. There it is. And hit open. For your base color, you're going to leave it as a, a RGB, as RGB, where we're going to leave it alone. We're going to go ahead and uh, select your object one more time. And we're going to go ahead and select metalness this time. For the metalness value, I believe it's a zero. File. A little folder. And here's your metalness. Yep, it's all black. So it's a value of zero. I'm going to go ahead and hit open. Now, here is where it gets a little tricky. You're going to select color space. Your color space for your metal is raw. should always be raw. And you're going to go ahead and go into, uh, where is it? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Color balance. You're going to select alpha is luminance. Okay. That goes for your metalness texture. Okay, select your object one more time. Now we're going to jump down here to where it says specular. In specular, where it says uh, roughness, we're going to go ahead, select the little checker icon again, same process. Select file, select the little folder icon, and you're going to input your roughness map. There's your roughness. Hit open. And the same thing for your roughness, color space needs to be raw, and color balance. Alpha is luminous, needs to be checked on. Select your object one more time. And you're going to go ahead and go here where it says geometry. We're going to put the little drop down menu down. We're going to go ahead and select bump mapping. We're going to go ahead and select file. We're going to go ahead and we're here where it says use as bump. We're going to go ahead and select this and 
select this to tangent space normals. Then we're going to select this little icon right here for the bump value. Scroll all the way up. Now it gives us this little folder icon like the rest. We're going to go ahead and select the folder. Select your normal map. Where's your normal? Select open. And there you have it. Okay. Now for your normal map, uh, you could leave it as an R, uh, sRGB, or you can also go raw. Okay. So now the reason why you're not seeing it here in your viewport is because you don't have uh, that option selected yet. So in order to view it here in your viewport to see how it looks, you need to select this little uh, circular checker icon next to the lights. So select it, click on it, and now you're going to see your cube with the correct textures. Okay. So just a brief, just a little uh, information. Um, whenever you're, you're building assets, you always want to keep your assets as low poly as possible, unless it's actually a hero piece. If it's one of your hero pieces, then I highly recommend using high resolution models. But if it's a simple, you know, this asset that we created is probably going to be put somewhere in the background, you know, somewhere like way back there. Uh, you know, something that can just um, complement the main piece. You know, they're, they're, you're probably going to be building environments here, so, you know, spaceship environments uh, where there's going to be battles done and everything. And this is probably just going to be a piece somewhere in some crate back there holding some kind of ammo, right? So those, those pieces aren't really highlighted as much. So you want to keep those pieces as low poly as possible. Okay, but with still with enough geometry where you can still conduct your business right and make it look, uh, give it some realism, right? So now here, as you can see, we're almost done. Um, I can see my, this video is already past five minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you just a, a few more steps that we need to take to complete this model. Okay.